friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a soft cataract the rexis tended to run to periphery in this case and i did a smart pull let us see what happened and how i managed this case by this time the main incision has been made this is 2% hpmc filling of the anterior chamber now this is a paracentesis on the left side of the main incision in this case i have done only one paracentesis and now the anti capsule has been incised to the 26 case pen needle and here it goes it has gone to periphery i want to bring it to center and here is the smart pull let us see this in slow motion this is 50% speed hold the capsule attack with iterative forceps and now here it goes to periphery now hold the capsule attack at the periphery here and give a smart pull like this and it has come to the track and now continue rexis now here the anterior chamber has become shallow as soon as the anterior chamber becomes shallow on must come out inject visco again this is methyl cellulose and go back again with the iterata forceps and complete the rexis so this has been a funny rexis but it happens now hydro dissection is done hydro delineation is also attempted the nucleus is rotated and now 2% hpmc is injected again and now is the time to introduce the fico handpiece the handpiece goes into the eye with its bevel down this is ortley catrix 3 i'm in fico 2 mode from the very beginning vacuum is 400 flow rate is 40 and power is 50 this is a soft cataract so in this case i'm going to slice the nucleus making a small trench up to the middle of the cataract here trains up to this otherwise if you cross this point you will not be able to engage the tip as you just engage the tip keep support and use your chopper to slice the nucleus and is nuclear piece just floats and it is emulsified and removed very minimal ultrasonic energy is required i am in continuous mode using ultrasonic energy only when it is required otherwise it is in fico 2 position and here this epinuclear piece which was sticking to the corneal endothelium has been brought by cleverly using the fluid just tilt the handpiece so that one jet of fluid goes and strikes this epinuclear piece and it will come out now since there is only one paracentesis i'm using simco and in this case i'm going to try if i can remove whole of the cortical matter through the main incision or not let us see so here it is i'm trying and here is the cortex of the superior portion and yes it is possible to remove the cortex through the main incision in this way so i have not used the side board for removal of cortical matter and in many cases we can do like this now this is hydro polish 
Booster capsule appears very clean. So, a lot of polishing is not required. And now this is hydro implantation. Keep the antechamber formed by irrigating fluid and implant the lens. And here the lens has gone into the capsular bag. And dial the lens in such a way that the haptics are 90 degree away from the area where the rex is extended to periphery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. As you hydrate the stroma, the stroma becomes thick and this stab wound closes. And now this is the final lavage of the antechamber. All the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out, all the air bubbles comes out and there is only fresh BSS in the antechamber and the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. And see how the lens has been placed. The area of Rex's extension is around 10.30 o'clock and the haptics are 90 degree away from the area of Rex's extension. And this is a nice placement of the intraocular lens. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.